Hi guys, welcome to Nine's Corner. Sorry to be like quick and right to the point, but I'm supposed to be off tonight. I have a date with my son. We're having a Christmas movie, but I have been followed by the song and I've got to get the song out of my system. And the only way to get the song out of my system is to do a reading about it. And then you're probably thinking, Nina, what song are you talking about? I beg your pardon. I never promised you a rose garden. So the pardon song keeps going on and on and on. So it's just, okay, Nina, get to a reading about the pardons. Then I keep having the other side where I'm hearing, Rudy Tootie, Tootie Rudy, Rudy Tootie. It's like, what has it come to that, you know, they let him out and you watched him have his hair dye fall over his face and then he brings that interesting creature of God to, you know, say that, you know, she knows there's at least 100,000 votes that are incorrect. And then he's tooting through his, it's, it's just, wow. And the sad thing about it is that nobody's outraged. Nobody's like, wow, it's just, okay, we're so used to it. It's so sad. So anyway, I thought let's get in and just do a quick reading about the pardons because I can't get that song out of my brain. And the reason why, now there's sort of a two full thing happening here. You've got Donald Trump and he's looking for pardons. And I'm pretty sure we're going to see Rootin' Tootin' Giuliani probably get one. Uh, and I'm sure he's trying to cover his family's derrieres. I do not, however, understand how he's going to do it because I, I'm not an expert, but I'm just thinking, okay, how can you be pardoned for something that you haven't said you've done? So is he allowed to do this kind of general catch-all pardon for him and his family? And even if he does, are they just going to say, sure, here, Donald, there you go, there you go. Like, you know, smooth him like a little animal and say, yes, you can pardon everybody. Pardon Ivanka, pardon Jordan, yeah, just pardon them all. And in truth, they know they're going to get them because, you know, come January 21st, they're going to be like, okay, here, Donald, here, Ivanka, here, Jared, here, you know, go, 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 go. It's just, there's such a, a feeling around this. So, and I mean, you, you know, you're also seeing that while all this is transpiring and this is what everybody's paying their attention to, you're seeing Trump is doing things, you know, in other countries, pulling out his, his um, armies and everything there. And, you know, I can't help but think, like, is he doing all these last minute leave, getting people out of power and taking people out? I'm sure they're destroying all kinds of information, all kinds of paperwork. But, you know, there's always a Putin string on that puppet called Donald Trump. And I really feel that some of these kind of like, what is he doing kind of questions is really the answer is what Putin and them have asked. So I just want to look and see what's going to happen with Ivanka and Jared. Seeing that Donald wants to, you know, give them a pardon. Because Jared, I have all, I, you know, well, in previous readings, I said Jared and Ivanka are going to turn on Donald Trump. I think these pardons are the beginning of the turn on Donald Trump. Now, go with me. In all of our previous readings, we saw, you know, Ivanka and them are going to toe the line and, you know, they're going to push back because I think they really did believe that, yes, they'll win and they'll have time to kind of destroy all the evidence over the next four years. But now that, you know, they're realizing the writing on the wall, the support is gone, people are starting to, you know, realize that Donald is going, his power has dissipated. He's done a lot of shady deals, including his family. Kushner has one foot in the Trump dynasty and everything that they've done to destroy democracy and the White House. But I think he has a vested interest of his own that has his own family marks on it. And he's do I think a lot of stuff that's going to come out. Because when we looked at Donald Trump, we saw money wars. And for sure, Jared Kushner is on you know the ground floor 
of those money wars. But I really strongly feel that he has more to do with not just the Trump dynasty, but his own little adventure that he's into. And I still feel all these months later after doing the reading that Ivanka and Jarrett will eventually turn. I think that the, the fact that New York, and God bless, we said New York was going to take them down and that they were just going to be, and sure enough, they're keeping their promise. So God bless New York. That's all I got to say. So I want to have a look and see now that Trump is putting those pardons on the table, because I got a feeling that they might just say, you know, these little things to let Donald Trump say, sure, pardon them, but it won't actually mean anything because the pardon doesn't mean anything because he's not going to follow the rules just like he never does. It's like his big signature just meaning nothing. But I don't feel that Ivanka and Jared, especially Jared, are going to be willing to throw away everything that they have for Donald Trump. I think this pardon and the fact that Donald Trump is talking about the pardon for his kids is not just an indication of how much they've actually done. I think it's an indication of how much trouble they're actually in. So now I want to look at Jarrett and Ivanka. I'm going to take a spread and do a Celtic cross on Jarrett and let's see what's going to happen with Jarrett in the next three months. Then I'm going to, to take a separate set of cards. I'm going to get a separate set of cards and then I'm going to put Ivanka right on top of him on the same timeline and see what's going to happen because I don't even feel these pardons so much as like, oh, you know, what Donald Trump is doing. I'm feeling it's an indication of what's actually happening in the, in the background. So let's have a look. I'll put those to the side. Let's have a look at Jared Kushner first because I think he's got... He and Ivanka, but more so him. He's got more um, international trouble coming along with him. That's my feeling. So let's just lay out the Celtic cross and see what's happening with Jared Kush. I have to get that uh, song, I beg your pardon, out of my head so I can move on with my night. So let's just go. Okay, right at the center we have the Four of Cups. So here he is dissatisfied with whatever is happening behind the scenes. He's trying to keep uh, Donald Trump from being angry because he's already seeing how paranoid he's it, he is. So he's really kind of like, wow, there's so many issues going on. Now he's covered by the Knight of Wands. So this is action that's gonna be going against him. He knows it, he's aware of it. I think this is something that he's he's been told about. At the base is we've got the Empress. Here's Ivanka. Don't you think that this looks like a pregnant Ivanka? I'm just saying, I'm not gonna be shocked because look, it looks like she's pregnant here. So don't be shocked if we see Ivanka getting pregnant within the next three months or hearing about her being pregnant. Anywho, in the past, we've got the Six of Cups. Here he is being really friendly with not just Donald Trump. This is with other countries, and, and he's got his hand into a lot of different pies. So I think the past is about to catch up with him because in the near future, we've got the Five of Wands. So here there's going to be a lot of arguing, fighting. There's going to be a lot of you know stirring up because what's on top of these heads He's got the five of pentacles, so money, his material wealth, his material goods, all of that's on top of it. He's also feeling like he's being left out. He's being pushed out. Here we're seeing that blood is thicker than water. Be careful. So at the base of it, here he feels like he's at the eight of swords. He feels like he's being tied and bound by uh, not just the money issues, he's being tied and bound by Ivanka and the lawyers and Trump and all of the different cases because there's a multitude of them. But then in the other's position, we've got the magician. The magician is going to be extremely powerful. They have all the information. They have paper trail. They have, um, you know, probably videos. They have, they have electronics. The magician has it all. And he is so worried because we've got the Ten of Swords here. He's done for. He is 100% going to be seeing jail time. He is going to be in an orange suit, guaranteed. Because the outcome 
we've got the seven of cups but it's reversed he doesn't have options he's ran out of options and he's going to end up in jail but somebody's going to come and help him and that's why i think that you know even just connecting the dots back to videos from many 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 months ago about ivanka and jared that jared is going to end up realizing that he's going to be losing his life life in jail if he doesn't come to some kind of um some kind of understanding which means he's going to be putting trump and trump associates under the under the gun because here we've got the magician and he's going to be taking care of business jared you are going to jail wow 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 okay so let's i'm going to leave the cards as is and let's pull the cards for Ivanka directly on top of his so we can see what's going to be her fate. So I'm gonna use a second pack of cards here because I wanna keep those cards down. And let's look into Ivanka because Jarrett, you're going to jail. Somebody's gonna help him. He might, it's almost like he's in so much trouble that they're gonna to try to make a deal and but he has no choice. He's not he's going to have to turn on Trump, Trump org. And I really think that Ivanka might get pregnant. I'm gonna be interested to see what happens with this card. Ooh! -hoo -hoo. Okay, so let's see. What is Ivanka thinking about? So Ivanka has the seven of pentacles. So here she is really she's just moving forward she's going to keep persevering she just is has one foot in reality and one foot in dad's camp because she wants to believe what they're saying but she's also listening to her husband so i think they are conversing going against it is time she has no time we've got the six of wands oh sorry i should show these cards so here she is she's waiting to see how things are going to work out she doesn't have the time time is going against her Underneath it, we've got the Queen of Cups. Guys, she's pregnant and she she probably already knows it. I'm not going to be shocked. Look, that's the only card in the deck that they have the cup on top, the, the lid on top of the cup. So I think she might already be pregnant and she's not just saying it because put the layover. Come on now. Oh my God. So in the past. Wow. Are you kidding me? Look. They both, they both got the six of pentacles. So I'm, believe me now, no, hear me now, believe me later. They're going to turn coat on Trump, on Trump org. They're going to have to in order to be able to take care of themselves. They both are involved in whatever they're involved in. They've done it as a, as a partnership and that's what's gonna help take Ivanka down. On top of it, ooh, Ivanka is thinking about uh, she's waiting for something to come in. I think that this is, again, I, I'm going to have to go back and see when I did that video. I said they've already done a plan. Around the time that she did the five-hour interview was the time that I said, I think they're already talking and making a plan because they need to take care of, see, she's taking care of herself, her world, and trying to figure out. But at the same time, Jared's being pushed out because blood is thicker than water. Oh, my. You can't make it up. Right on top of his card of all the fighting and everything. She got the she got the five of pentacles, but it's reversed. So she doesn't she's not out of the loop. She's still in with pop. She's in still. She's still figuring out. She's trying to figure out how to. She's going to turn. She's going to turn. She's going to turn on, on Trump. She has no other choice in the near future. She's going to follow suit with her husband. He's going to do it first, but she's going to follow suit. I think... Uh, hmm. Okay, so we've got... On top of him feeling the Eight of Swords, he feels like he's blocked in. She feels like she can't walk away. They are very on the same page together. Ooh. We got the Ten of Cups on Happy Family on top of the Magician. They're going after the family. This is not going to be just Jared going. They're not going after just Jared. They're going after the family. Kids, be careful. <gasps> on top of his Ten of Swords, she's got the Justice card. 
she might go to jail too. Oh my goodness, she might go to jail. She might go to jail. She might go to, she might, she might have to turn, this is her. They're gonna turn information on Trump. It might not happen in the next week or two, but over the next little while, over the next few months, as soon as Biden gets in power and New York gets up to bash, they're in trouble. Like this is just, the cards are crazy. Her end result is the hangman. So like, like she started off in the beginning, she's just waiting for things to happen. She's going to be the hangman at the end, waiting for things to happen. But now she's going to see things in a different light. This is going to result. Death card. She's going to be transformate. Oh, she's got a temperance and the devil. Guys, she's going to be giving out the information. The devil's in the details. Watch, watch, watch. Oh, my God goodness 2021 is going to be a hoot because Ivanka and uh, her husband they are going to be giving us so much information the only way that she could figure out to keep herself out of out of jail is that she's gonna have to tell the dirty details oh I knew there was a reason why I was called to do this reading because All right, so that's it, that's it. That's all you're getting from me right now. I'm just, I really wanna just do a quick reading. I'm gonna shoot it up really quickly because I needed to get that. And I, I swear to God to you, I truly feel like something, like I feel like a weight is lifted off my shoulders now that I've done the reading because I feel like all that information was downloading and me being me, I'll forget everything. So it was just like, get it out, get it done. And here we go. So. Please feel free to like because it really does help the channel. Uh, if you need to get a hold of me, you can leave a comment, reach me by email, however way you want to do it. I love to hear from you. So that's a quick political read from me on this Friday night. And as always, I wish you health and all good things. And as always, I have our unity candle lit for each and every one of us. And until we talk again, cheerio. Take care.